اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the last session on moderation analysis, we assessed the role of role ambiguity, role conflict on the relationship of CC, that is your collaborative culture on OP. Now, role ambiguity and role conflict did not moderate this particular relationship. Now, in order to further analyze the moderating effect of variables and to see what happens when you get significant moderating results, I slightly changed the model a bit. Now these two variables, role ambiguity, role conflict, they are actually sub-dimensions of role stress. So role ambiguity and role conflict form role stress. So I slightly changed my model just for the sake of better understanding of moderation in Smart PLS 4. Now in this session, I'm going to look into whether role ambiguity, role conflict when forming role stress moderate a relationship or not. To do so, what I've done is I've created this new model here and I've added the moderating effect. So role stress now is based on two sub-dimensions, role ambiguity, role conflict. Now these are lower order constructs forming this higher order construct. Look at the arrows pointing towards the latent variable. So again, how to do this? You need to create latent variable scores based on your measurement model and then re-import the data. All of this has been done in previous sessions. I'll share the link again. So how do you add moderating effect? We have already done this. So I've added a role ambiguity and role conflict. Just like this here. Let's say I name it role stress. Right click, invert measurement model. Now how do you link it? click connect and where do you want to link it drag and drop now see it turns green so when it turns green you can add it otherwise it will be just plain simple line so now you can add it now it's added similarly you can do for other relationships as well now let's remove it because i've already got it here now in this case let's hide the indicators alt x now in this case role stress is now moderating this relationship here between im and isq this relationship here between ISQ and OP and this relationship here between IM and OP. So IM is your higher order construct, ISQ is your higher order construct, OP is your higher order construct. This is just plain simple lower order construct. Now let's run this analysis. Let's go to calculate bootstrapping. Again, as recommended 10,000. Let's go for most important bias corrected this is more stable one tailed leave the rest as is just make sure path is selected and start your calculations now here are our results path coefficient and p-values so look at this insignificant well you can say it is significant and this one is definitely significant now if you go to report and look at these three here RS, moderating the role of IM and OP, well, no, it is insignificant. So, role stress does not moderate the relationship between IM and OP. IM and ISQ, is it moderating? Well, yes, it is moderating and negative. So, role stress weakens the relationship between IM and ISQ and which was estimated to be positive relationship. So, when there is higher role stress, this weakens the impact of IM on ISQ. And finally, we've got this one here. You can say it is slightly significant, but look at this. No negative sign. It's a positive sign. This means when role stress increases, it improves or strengthens the positive relationship. Now, this is something that we did not expect. So how to deal with this situation? We are going to talk about this as well. Now, step one. You have assessed your moderation results and two of the moderating effects you can say is significant. I'm going to talk, take this as significant because this is less than 0 0.10. So at 10%, you can say it is significant, very close to 1.645 since we had one tailed test. This is insignificant. So we are not going to perform slope analysis for this one. Rather, we are going to perform slope analysis for these two. 
although we are going to report it we are going to tell our readers this relationship was insignificant and we are going to explain what could be the possible reasons that this relationship was insignificant now that you are done with your step one let's go to step two that is slope analysis now you can have your slope analysis here calculate pls scm algorithm path start now report simple slope analysis and look at this rs im so rs moderating the relationship between im and op was it significant no and if you look here let's look at here well all three lines appear to be similar there is no steepness in one of the lines that is different from the other let's look at the other one look at this rs into im now which one is this this is with isq is it significant let's have a look yes it is significant now if you look here look at the steepness of gradient which one appears to be more steeper than the other now here it is difficult to find out which one is more steeper although this one here at low roll stress this appears to be more steeper so to solve this issue I've all been always been using in pre in previous session as well the stats tool package by James Keskin to draw my moderating effects. Now this was the fun first one I M R S O P insignificant. Look at the lines; both of them appears to be the same, so insignificant. So we are not going to go into detail of this one. We are not going to report the slope for insignificant results, although we are going to report the insignificant results. But we are not just going to go into detail of the slope. both lines appears to be similar look at the other one im rsq op now this graph here look at this one low rs much steeper look at this low rs much steeper the red line low rs average rs rs is roll stress and high rs so low rs appears to be much steeper so what do you mean by this steeper gradient let's come back here look at this so what do we mean by low rs or low roll stress by low roll stress here we mean that if there is low roll stress in the organization and you increase your internal marketing there is a higher or stronger impact on internal service quality look at this steeper gradient here but look at this line here much straighter less steep so this means that if you've got higher roll stress in the organization even though you are increasing your internal marketing but your internal service quality is not increasing at that same level this means roll stress dampens the positive relationship between im and isq this means that if you've got higher roll stress this weakens the relationship between internal marketing and internal service quality you just have to look at the steepness of the gradient and then assess the slope and finally the third one that you can say was significant although partially look at this one but it is positive shall i remove it no you will not remove it although you may have said that okay this should weaken the relationship but this turns out to be against what you proposed but still you won't delete it you will explain what could be the case in this particular situation now this date particular data was collected from banks now in banks you've got targets to meet and those targets obviously are based on how well you provide the service internally within the employees you are always under stress so the stress is not affecting the work of people who are serving each other and it is not resulting in any change in the organizational performance so it's not moderating the relationship the way you think it should have moderated the stress may be causing them to work more harder communicate better coordinate better work in collaboration with each other so that they can help each other improve the results this could be the possible justification as to why this is a positive relationship now look at this here now again how did i get it this is my independent moderator dependent variable where is this value 1250 and what do we mean by independent variable now here independent variable means the impact of isq on the dependent variable in the relationship that is op why the dependent variable in the relationship look at this relationship here 
So role stress moderating the relationship between ISQ and OP. So role stress is affecting OP and the moderating effect is added here, this one here. So when I say independent variable, here the value should be the link of the independent variable that is your ISQ on OP. So where is this? This is your ISQ influencing OP. So what is it? 0 0.250. Here it is. Have a look. ISQ OP 0 0.250. So I've just added it here. So what is your moderator? So the moderator, the relationship it is moderating. Which relationship is it moderating? This is the relationship it is moderating. So the impact of RS on OP. Where is it? I've got it here. RS on OP. Here it is. Point, minus 0 0.067. Here it is. Minus 0 0.067. And then the interaction effect. Here it is. RS ISQ OP. Plus 0 0.082. Here is your interaction effect. Now look at this here. Let's analyze this. Look at this steeper gradient. Which one is steeper? Which line is steeper? Red is steeper. This means that at high roll stress, if you increase your internal service quality, this improves the organizational performance better than when you've got low roll stress. So if you've got low roll stress, you may be increasing your internal service quality, but organizational performance does not lead to that particular kind of improvement as was the case with high roll stress. Now roll stress here is strengthening the relationship. Now you need further research into this area. How much more roll stress can be increased? Now, again, you cannot increase role stress to a level where you think, okay, now since role stress is in strengthening the relationship, I can keep on increasing a role stress. Well, there is a certain level up until the role stress can be a, mod a moderator, a positive moderator, a challenge that can help you improve the relationship. In this case, this is how you may justify it in your discussion as well. But since it's a banking institution, a financial institution, a certain kind, a certain limit of stress will help in keeping the people on their toes and will improve their level of internal service quality that will lead to improved organizational performance. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to perform moderation analysis, how to understand the results, how to perform slope analysis in Smart PLS 4. In the next session, I'm going to use this same model and report the results. Thank you very much.